I'm Libby Newton John, and I'm playing Bitsy May Harling, who's a, a wild country and western singer, and uh, well, a struggling <laughs> country and western singer who was wrongly accused of burning down the trailer of her ex boyfriend and goes to jail for 18 months and wants to clear her name. Because <laughs> Bitsy is like, you know, she's. She's a person in her own world and she lives in this little town and she, she just come out of jail. I mean, everything I'm doing, everything in this role is alien to me. So it's fun. It really makes it fun because it's like, wow, you know. Well, Del Shores is a very old and close friend of my sister Rona's and I've been to see Sort of Lives the play a few times. Um, and after one of the shows, I said to Del in a fit of madness, um, if you ever do the movie of Sorted Lives, I should play the singer because, you know, just for fun I said that. So about six, eight months later he called me and said, well, guess what, we're going to make the movie. Would you like to play the role of Bitsy May Harling? And I thought, oh, well, um, that sounds like a lot of fun. So that's how it started and I did the movie and then um, here we are doing the series. So it's, uh, it's, it's really, I'm having a blast. It's so funny. He's so funny. His writing is so clever. My friend Amy Skye and I, Amy's a good friend of mine from Canada and a wonderful singer-songwriter, uh, we wrote these five songs in two days on a break we had. We both had two days off and wrote these songs as Bitsy May, so they're written in, in character. So one of them's called, It's None of My Business, What You Think of Me. Another one's called uh, Slow Burn, where she's writing about, you know, kind of a passionate love affair with someone you shouldn't be having an affair with. Um, what's the other ones called? I've got to think of the names now. Um, Jack Daniels, which is pretty self-explanatory. Jack Daniels is going to save my soul tonight. Well, I love, I've always loved country, but you know, this character is, you know, she's a country singer, or wants to be, you know. And um, so that was fun for me to write songs in a raunchy way, because the country songs that I wrote and performed were not really raunchy, but <laughs> Bitsy Mays are. So it gets a bring a whole other and a whole other area of country for me that I never was part of really. <laughs> well for me, you know, the hardest thing for me is the accent because you know I'm I have an Australian accent which is very flat. We have no hard R's. I like a hard R's, but there's no hard R's in the Australian accent. So to for me to get my voice around the accent has been the most difficult thing. I think I'm fine. It's amazing because I've lived in America for you know on and off for 30 years, but I've never really tried to get an American accent. I've always tried. I've never tried. I've just kind of stuck with my own. So to to really have to focus on a Texas accent, which is quite a hard one anyway, and to find that er uh, is um, I'm getting better every day. I get a little better at it. But Dale doesn't have to yell at me quite so often with er. <laughs> The gay audience loved Xanadu, I know, because it was a kind of a fantasy musical. It was so camp and it was so bad that the dialogue was so corny. But the music was great and the dancing was fun and I think they really were attracted to that. And I think Greece has a following gay and straight, I think, does it, you know, just people love that movie. And um, I, don't, I don't really know, but I'm very happy to have the audience. <laughs>